السلام عليكم ورحمة الله معايا ريموت سكودا سوبرب ده الأصلي بينضف له واحد اللي هو من اكس فورس اكس اس ام كيو بي 1 اي ان Hello everybody, now I'm having Skoda Superb and I want to add a key. This one is the original key and I will add X-Horse key smart XS MQB1 EN. I already went to the car with VVDI2 and I managed to read the E from and EMO data from it. And here let me show you something. If I identify the original transponder with VVDI2 failed maybe we have to put it this way okay MQB 48 new type 48 transponder and this is the identifier and this is part number and it's for SCODA and using my phone, I prepared these two. Uh, this one without the cover is prepared for that ID. Okay. And the second one is prepared for this ID. So this one looks as if it is a newer generation and this one looks if it is prepared for lower generation and I hope I only want to add one key but I'm not sure if I should bear for this which would be without the cover and that one is prepared for that notice that you need to put the battery inside the key before burning or writing uh, the software files for it and I hope it won't be this one so now I will go to I will go to the car and read uh, the EEPROM and EMO data again prepare both of them and try to learn if the first one fail I will go with the second one and I hope it won't be the last option Now I'm the car and this identification is for um, the original key. If I identify it again. Okay. And I will leave it there. The older one. Identify it. And the newer one will to detect completed unlock key. Let's go. So both of them are key. Let's go keys. So now I would turn the engine off and the ignition on with this way. Then I will go to. read the emo and epro i already have them but i will read them back again okay switch the ignition on then diag mqb and ec35 maybe i will have I will need to have internet connection so uh, I will turn the hotspot and come back again okay now I'm having network connection so we'll turn the ignition on then diag okay so now I have to put the key this way and read 
EEPROM and EMU data back again. Uh, I don't know how to hold the key and the camera while clicking on uh, read EEPROM. So I'll put the key, the key there and Okay, then I click on next. Then switch on with the working key. Hold the key this way. Then login method one. Next. As you see, the dashboard came off, the key is there, and as you see here, the dashboard is dark when you see this tips. Okay, now it is reading the data. Hold the key this way. Now continues to read data. Okay, give me reset instrument after all the operation is finished. And as you see, nothing on the dash. Then, okay. Then I will save that file. And I will save it as EEPROM already exist. We want to replace yes. And already save the file. Then I will click on read emo data. And read emo data success. And save file. Emo. Okay. Then I will save and replace the old file. Yes. So now I will click on reset an instrument to get it working back again. Reset an instrument. And now it came back. Now I will take the original key out and I will continue to make dealer key. You will need to put the key again. Should be this way. Okay. Then asks me for login method next and it started security login <laughs> the cluster came off sorry it's very hard to do this way two-handed only here I have that Third dealer key. I already read EEPROM and EMO that prepared dealer key. Can go to step seven if you have to set instrument. A key. Okay, so we have to make the dealer key before we reset the instrument. So I will click on OK. I will take this key and leave it there. Then click, in, click on the SCODA. Make your own key. First, use your UI to transport the programmer. Prepare, remote, and you can make the key. Would you go online operation? 
I will check working key position. So leave it there and input existing existing working key to program please the key position to be very once. Okay. You know it will identify it this way. Okay. Okay, so this key is in position one and we will change the identifier of these two on 12 okay take it there and click on next should we make it's called support gq online make sure the line is correct okay so i will put the older one click on yes Okay, lost. Take it back again and add key. Option will ask you to insert the working key. Add key next. Okay. Yes. Sign. Save. Embed MBQ MQB remote to the program and continue. Okay, the older one. Okay, prepare the key success. Please, there is a new key to the car. Okay, user set an instrument. Okay, but also, I need to prepare second one make dealer key skoda oem uh, we'll choose this one then uh, next yes next okay no newer one okay start making key please there's the new key to the car okay okay now the instrument is going dark so i will click on reset instrument then it came back again so now i will proceed with the key learning don't know how to make the video quality to be good but uh, maybe i can hold the phone here So now I will click on add key. Warning you should back up EPROM and email data before learning if you have the debug key. Yes. Learn key login with the security, security code from, from email data. Uh, put the key into ignition switch and according to one of the topics, you must prepare all the working key. If the key not learned, okay. will not start the car and put the key learning number two and load emo data emo open here I load emo data and choose the emo data like that open and here is two okay now I will click on next if the card has keyless. Yes. If this key learn function failure requires perform online key learn. 
or killer on the bench warning don't switch off the ignition in the key learning put the key nearby the car ignition switch and switch on the left for, uh, the dashboard for, for continue okay so now <clears throat> I will turn the ignition off and switch on yes start learning one of two the original one <clears throat> Please put the key two, and here is key two. Okay, then as you see, then click on OK. didn't learn <clears throat> okay I will put this one <clears throat> we'll move this away and I will put this one and click on OK Still nothing and key mode one of two. We try to move it a little bit. Move it this way. Try to move it again. Click on OK. Move it back a little bit. Bring the first one. And click on OK. Okay, did it once again and try to move the key. Nothing happened. Okay, now I'm still having key mode one of two. So I will click on OK. I will stop and wait.